Just a quick video here showing you guys how I set this laser up to my Shapeoko. Uh, this is a Shapeoko 3 XXL, a generic eBay, Amazon laser. I bought this off Amazon for uh, $135 Canadian shipped to my door. Comes with a control board, pair of glasses, and laser. Uh, this is a five and a half watt, which when you're purchasing these, uh, like Banggood and everybody has them, but just make sure you're looking at the optical output. Um, a lot of them are advertised 15 or 20 watts, but they don't actually put that out for actually burning. Um, we cut the wiring off. This is just your, it would be your fan and your laser wire. Ran up to a four pin trailer disconnect. Bit bulky, does the job. Uh, ran the wiring through the cat track, which if I ran the wiring again, I would have bought just a four pin single sleeve wire. Um, any like home hardware low should have that. Um, a lot of HVAC stuff has four pin. Um, run that through the cat track, then up along the Y cat track here, and then out the back. And then right here on the board, we have our power on ground. So left side, the white plug is power ground. You just run that to a generic power supply. This is a five amp computer type power supply. Uh, I purchased this on Amazon for $15 as well. Um, came with this quick disconnect, so I can just screw in there, power ground, ran that to the board. The next one here, you got this blue plug. This one's your actual output to the laser, or to the uh, Shapeoko, I should say. Um, and then right here, you have your output to the laser, and then right here, the output for the fan. Uh, so these two wires, the only thing you're gonna solder up. Um, I was gonna solder these direct to the board, and then I ended up buying some um, connectors on Amazon, which ended up working out perfect for this. So I'll put a part number for that. Um, right here, so this is, usually empty on the board. It's just three little holes here. Uh, you'll see uh, the bottom will be ground. The second one here in the middle will be the PWM. So I popped this little connector on here and then soldered the back side of it. Um, you can buy a pressing connector right from JTEC. Uh, I believe it's only $12, but I didn't want to wait the time and then to ship it to Canada was about $30. So uh, this worked out perfect. It was super simple to solder up. Um, just be careful taking the board off. There is the four bolts holding the board on, but there is an adhesive on the backside, so uh, don't pry on this. What I did is I just um, took the four bolts off and just slowly twisted this thing, uh, just light pressure until it popped off, um, and then just bolt it back on when you're done. So these are the connectors I bought here. I think these were $10 shipped on Amazon for a 10-pack of them. Um, I was going to use these actually for quick disconnects on the laser, but uh, they were pretty small when I got them. I didn't feel like they were strong enough. They didn't want them to get caught up or something when I was cutting a, or burning a project and them come loose. But what worked out is it came with these little adapters and this is what I slid into the board itself. So it made that a lot easier. And then for a mount here, I had some half inch plexiglass kicking around. So I cut uh, two little forks kind of, slides around the spindle and then I had this piece here, and I, what I did is on the back side of here, uh, I countersunk two holes. Being clear, it was super easy to know where the holes were on the actual laser itself. Just countersunk two holes, um, tapped them in the back. I believe they were uh, M3, uh, M3 bolts. And then I have just a spacer here. This is all just super glued together. Uh, you can see I broke a screw here. This is just like a temporary prototype, but um, I do like the design. I like how it's right in the center. Um, you got to be careful mounting it off the side because when you do travel all the way over in your X, whether it's left or right, you can smash in this rail. So I wasn't too worried about losing the backside of my table with the Y travel because I, I very rarely cut on the backside of my table. And then with my Makita itself, there was the, uh, slide that came with it. I just stole this little, uh, this little thumb six mil screw here, and this will just actually tighten it right up to the uh, spindle. And then that's it. So you're just soldering two wires. It's very simple. Uh, and then just connecting the wires back in if you want to do a quick disconnect. Um, I prefer this way because then when I'm cutting wood, I can just pull this off, unscrew that, slide it out, and uh, I'm good to go. And then for light burn, I just followed the uh, Myers workshop. Um, he has a great video on setting up all the different code you have to change to uh, get your shape oko to actually put out uh, the power to the laser. Um, very simple job too. Uh, just follow it closely. And then I got a quick project here going. 
You just hit resume. And that's it. Hope this helps out.